Hello friends. Hello friends. Um, sorry if you hear the heater, space heater in the background, but warming up. It's freaking cold. We're not used to this in Texas. <laughs> Texan weather. It's icy outside and we're having fun. <laughs> Emma and Brayden got some hot cocoa. Uh, because it's a snow day. Well, it's already Martin Luther King Day, so they didn't have school anyway. But they're probably not going to go to school for two more days because uh, hashtag Texas. And Emma's teacher called about a conference and told me that Emma is doing so great. And she had nothing but great things to say. That made me so happy. Mm -hmm. um, so Brayden and I decided we're going to do a plan with me together. Mm -hmm. uh, Brayden was making his Sweet Kawaii vision board, which I'll put oh, a picture yeah. of when yeah. he gets done mm -hmm. um, on my Instagram or maybe on the community tab here. Um, okay, so Brayden, what are you planning? Your um, daily part? I'm doing a daily part, but I'm decorating uh, this past week, and I'm also going to pre-plan um, next week and then the week after that. Cool, okay. Yeah. He's got lots to do, guys. And then <laughs> I am going to do a couple daily spreads. I'm trying to use up some leftovers because um, USPS is still playing with my emotions. They delivered one of my orders. Oh, here we go. Maybe I can use this. Caffeinate and hope for the best. Yeah, cute. You can't go wrong with coffee. I ordered so many kits and stuff, and it's not Tasia's fault. They've all been shipped a long time ago. This was the third order that I placed in January, but I still haven't gotten the first two. And now that there's this ice, I'm like, well, okay, see you in February, stickers. I mean, so I'm caffeinating and hoping for the best at the sticker test. Aren't these from Dezo? Those are from Dezo. Show yeah. them your stuff. We, okay. um, yeah. some of it was from Santa, but a lot of mm, it yeah. I saw also mm -hmm. at Dezo. Yeah, Dezo is a really what? cute what? store. It's a bias. It's in a shopping center. Um, and it's like a, it's a Japanese dollar store pretty much and yeah. they have really good prices and they have really cute stuff and actually really good quality. Yeah. Like, uh, like unlike Dollar Tree. Right? Yeah. So me and Brayden, he, um, is turning 18 on Wednesday mm -hmm. and we're having his cake and stuff that day, but we went this weekend to, um, have our family dinner and let me get, let me show y'all. I'm going to do a whole week with this kit since... Also a reason why my stickers are lacking. Are you guys like, really, you need those orders? Number one, I changed planners too much. Number two, my niece came over around Christmas and said, I'm interested in learning planners. And I gave her like so much of my stuff. <laughs> so I mean, you didn't have to. But I didn't have to, but I was like, oh, I can restock mine, whatever. Yay, planners. She's 13. And then, um, so now I'm like, oh crap, I should have saved some of those leftovers. Um, but anyway, we went to Papa Do. I don't know if they have that in other states besides Texas, but it's a Cajun restaurant. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'm sorry, you're missing out. Um, it's basically, it's Landry's, it's seafood, but it's Cajun, like Louisiana style seafood. So they have a lot of, like Brayden got um, etouffee. I got scallops and shrimp ris with shrimp risotto. And I got fried catfish. John got some redfish and shrimp brochette and dirty rice. Oh my gosh, the shrimp brochette and the dirty rice is literally to die for. Like it's so good. It's oh so God. good. Um, so yeah, we had a really good time there and then I was like, oh, diet starts tomorrow. So literally. So then yesterday I made sure to stick to my diet plan. Today I am also sticking to my diet plan. I'm having my coffee with, a uh, just a little bit of raw unfiltered honey in it. That's pretty good. Um, eventually I'm just going to start having no sugar in it, but I'm kind of easing myself into it. And then, um, I'm going to do my couch to 5k today. I'm too Texan to try to go out in the iciness and do it. So I will be running around my living room. So no hashtag, no excuses. Um, cause your girl needs to lose about 15, 20 pounds as I discussed in my last video. Um, I just don't feel comfortable at this weight. And you also I do. Oh, um, sorry. Sure you <laughs> um, oh, you need a washi card? Um, uh, yeah. Look. You can have that one. Do you yeah. not have one? I have them, but I have some, but I forgot what it was. It went somewhere. Oh, no. Spoken like a true planner. I had one, but I don't know where it went. Um, I'm looking for my other one now. Oh, here we go. I have my Connie one right here. Um, so, um, I'm excited to get back on my health and fitness. My ears stopped hurting. Hallelujah. I had some like dead skin and wax in there. I have this ear camera thing that I'm obsessed with. And um, I looked at my ear the other day and I'm like, hey, that's why I have this weird feeling of fullness. And um, I watch a 
lot of like earwax removal videos. I know I'm such a weirdo. They're kind of they're almost like Dr. Pimple Popper, but mm. removing earwax and not as gross. So I know I'm, I am definitely a weirdo for doing that, but I can't help it. So, but I've learned a lot through watching them. So I kind of knew. That's why I knew to go to the doctor about my ear infection because it's all you know red and inflamed, and the shedding skin is part of infection um, because your body's trying to like get rid of it. Um, so anyway, I got that out yesterday after several days of trying to get that out. I was like, hallelujah. And then I got this great idea to take um, decongestants before bed. And I was like, it'll be okay. I'll still go to sleep. Mm -mm. No, I fell asleep at five in the morning. Um, but my ear didn't hurt. So you know what? The six hours I slept after that were the best sleep that I've gotten in a while. And my ear wasn't hurting. So I have no regrets. Um... What kit are you using? He's using an itty bitty kit. Yeah, I wanted to use itty bitty kit today because it fits more on my planner size. Yeah. Um, I'm not using I'm not using any specific layouts. I'm just making my own. So he's using the B6 Stology that I gave him, mm -hmm. and I'm using the B6 uh, Night Owl journal. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, I went digging in my garage planner graveyard yesterday. And Brandy, if you're watching this, look what I found. Man, I, I could have put this in your package the other day. It's a night owl, July through December. I knew I had it, so I was gonna, I ordered um, another one because I thought I lost it. And then I found it. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna send Brandy that one because I think I have, I have another same one. one but I don't use <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. not right now, but you might change your mind. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're gonna do a similar setup, guys, to what you see here, just super easy. Just put a half, all you do every day is you put your full box, half box, quarter box, checklist. It's like, it's the easiest thing to do. Um, here we go. Oh, I started on Monday, but I already have a spread for Monday. Whoopsie. This is supposed to be Tuesday and Wednesday. Also, um, I had some work to do, um, because, even though we're closed today, but I did it last night. So today is a full day off, so I'm really happy about that. I want to cook some chicken and dumplings today, but I'm not going to because I can't eat that because of my diet. So I am going to make us some fish and asparagus and rice. It's going to be delicious. I love that. So he's using the washi from Dezo. So mm -hmm. cute. Um, yeah, this is Toki Doki. That's the brand. Toki Doki. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, death before decaf. This is so cute. <laughs> um, so, Brayden, how do you feel about turning eighteen? Tell us more. Um, I feel good. I feel like it's just an age. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be like, oh, you know. I'm not gonna hold too many like, like I don't know. Expectations. Yeah, expectations for myself. That's good. Because I don't make me too stressed about turning eighteen. I, I know it's a big. I know it's a big year, but. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a good attitude to have. Just like. Yeah, just like a chill attitude. Yeah. So he told me since he's turning 18, he wants to go skydiving. But I said, <laughs> I, since he's still in high school, I feel more comfortable making that like a big thing, like um, a graduation present. So we were talking about this yesterday. His graduation present is going to be to go skydiving. So I need to like look into that and save up for it. And that'll be so fun. Yeah, it's so. not too terribly expensive. So I could help pitch in. Yeah. yeah, no, no, it's really not too much. So. Oh, this is looking so cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna color block if I can. Usually I only do like four days of one spread, but I am gonna do all six days since, oh, I put two full boxes. Ooh, so I might, I don't have room for the half box. <laughs> Sorry, my family's rambling in the background if you hear some noises. Um, but yeah, I was so proud. Emma's teacher called earlier and said, I have no problems with Emma and she's doing great. Yay. Even though I was just like, Miss Doss, why are you doing this on your day off? Chillax, man. But that's her business. Um, oh, this is a little long now that I added the header. I think I'll just take the header off. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, it's really rare in Texas for us to have this weather. It's been a few years since we had any ice on the ground or had these kind of temperatures where it's like in the thirties during the day. So yeah, I didn't happen last year or the year before that. Yep. So it's been about almost three years. And then the year that it did happen before that was when the grid went kaput. So yeah. that wasn't great. Um, 
let's see. I want to put my gratitude box. I think I'll do it at the bottom of the page. Am I? Top, bottom. Yeah, I think I'll do the bottom of the page. Um, what else can we talk about besides it's cold? Oh, we don't have a fireplace or anything. Um, yeah, but that's not that much of a big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal, but we lease, and so, you know, I think the landlords probably just think it's more trouble than it's worth, so there's no fireplace. Um, but we do have a gas stove and a gas water heater, so last year when the freeze happened, we really weren't that bad off. We um, could still cook. We still had hot water. So um, hopefully all of y'all are safe and sound. Let me know if you're weathering this winter weather and how things are going. I'm just so happy that my ear doesn't hurt. Like probably anything could happen and I'd just be like, okay. Um, yeah. Let's see. If y'all notice, I haven't really been doing bottom washi all the time. So that helps make more space on the page. And I'm really loving this V6 size. Uh, so now we're gonna do Wednesday. Oh, I'm gonna use Poe. He's so mm -hmm. cute. Mm -hmm. yeah. But first, coffee. I will have to work tomorrow and Wednesday, but um, there again, my ear's not hurting. So I feel back to my peppy motivated self. So it'll be fun. I had to schedule a meeting for 7 a.m. tomorrow <laughs> because we have to submit a bid first thing and my team members are on the East Coast, so that's 8 a.m. for them, so. That sucks, well. It does suck. You'll, um, get, you'll get through it. Yeah, but yeah, I can take a break during the day, take a nap during my lunch or something if I need to. Um, <laughs> let's put Life Without Coffee is scary. I think I want to do that in the middle of the page. And then do this, then a checklist. Well, I said I was going to color block, but look, I did pink there. Well, whatever. Mm. Even though it's going over the half box a little bit, I'm going to leave all the coffee cups because I still think it looks super cute. Um, and this is available in horizontal size. I'm not sure what sizes it's all available in, but I like to mix up the size of kits that I use. Um, I don't really stress too much about like, oh, I'm using this size planner and I only have this size kit. Like if you got a cute planner and a cute kit, you're good. You don't need to stress over the size. Just make it work, huh, Brayden? Planners mm -hmm. are supposed to make you less stressed, so don't make more stress for yourself. So true. Planners yeah. are supposed to make you less stressed. You heard I mean, it here first. I mean, you're putting stuff in your planner. You gotta be stressed somehow. Yeah. It helps me because it's like a creative thing, and then it's also like you get everything out of your brain onto the paper, and you're like, okay. So I probably won't forget it. Great. Okay, she's looking cute, guys. I'm liking it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's put some purple and pink lines on the page. I'm do purple on this side, just in the drop shadow first. So, me and Brayden had so much fun the other day. We had a little birthday outing. First, we went to get coffee at Starbucks and we regretted it. Brayden <laughs> ordered something different. I ordered a uh, matcha latte. I've tried it before and I was wanting something that was like healthy. I don't know why I thought it was like healthy at Starbucks. There's milk and sugar in it. I don't know why I thought that. But it was okay. It just wasn't my favorite. And I wish I didn't get it. So. Yeah, he had regrets. He wishes he got his normal dragon fruit refresher or that we had gone to um, Black Rock Coffee. <laughs> but Black Rock was like so far from the mall where we were headed. So I was being lazy about driving. But um, look at these little conversation hearts for him. Oh, this is cute. I have some of those. Did I give you some? Uh, okay. Yeah, they're the itty bitty and I also have it in regular size. Oh good, I gave you some. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think they're so cute. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, we went to the mall, we walked around until we found the booth that we saw before called the Piercing Hut. And there was these two brothers that were running it. 
two Turkish guys and they were so cute and funny and they saw that Brayden liked Hello Kitty so they proceeded to sell me some $30 Hello Kitty earrings <laughs> and then um it was originally a belly piercing yeah thing. they customized it so fancy and then um he got his ears pierced and then we walked around the mall and then we went to California Pizza Kitchen for lunch which was nice mm -hmm. and man it was dead in there I, in the mall and in the California Pizza Kitchen. So I think most people are just like, and it was a nice day. It was not like this, guys. It was like 60. It was, yeah, it we was really weren't fun. even hardly wearing coats. So. Oh, school's closed tomorrow. Well, well awesome. that's good because I wasn't planning on taking them anyways. <laughs> um, so, um, then we, we walked around the mall and then we left and went to Dezo, which is by our house. Um, and we enjoyed it there. I got a lot of things to organize the pantry. So I think I was already starting to feel better with my ear because I had energy, which is rare for me. Um, and so I came home and like organized the whole pantry, the pot and pan drawer, which was a flipping hot mess before <laughs> and, um, the top of the fridge. And the, I took, I had like some, it was looking like Seinfeld up in here. I had some stuff on top of my cabinets, just pots and pans, just chilling there. And I was so sick of that so I ended up um taking that down organizing the top of the fridge then the groceries came the kids put them up for me because I started to poop out then we went to Papado and mm -hmm. highly enjoyed our dinner and our festivities and I think Emma got pretty hyped up on the strawberry lemonade she was being like she was being a lot more hyper than normal and it was so funny so yeah but the strawberry lemonade was really good you were just happy it. my bad she was just happy right. okay you guys um <laughs> she was way more hyped than normal though um and it was really funny so yeah we had a great time so and then yesterday we just had more of a chill day and we cooked roast in the crock pot and we watched the football game which we will not discuss because my <laughs> hubby is still salty about it yes i oh. would after 35 years baby i would <laughs> <laughs> it's not the right thing for me to say guys um and then what had happened was um, I attempted to go to bed early, but as I said, I took the meds and did not go to bed at all. So great. <laughs> um, so yeah, but how, um, what do I want to say? How crazy is that? The, the one day I scheduled myself like a super early meeting because I was like, okay, I can't do it at eight my time because I'll have to do the school run at that time. And if I do it when I get back, it'll be too close to the submission deadline. So I put it at seven my time. And then what happened? They canceled school. And now it's just like, it's tomorrow. I don't wanna change the time at this point. I'm like, I'll just deal with it. I'll be up early. So maybe I'll plan to do my hit workout early because your girl Scott's to lose some fat and gain some muscle. Cause I'm feeling fluffy. Um, <laughs> let's see, Tuesday is the 16th. Oh, 17th is Bray Bray's birthday. Hello, oh. what am I doing? I need to put something birthday-ish on it. Yes. So even though we already did most of our festivities, we're gonna have his cake and a couple more presents on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Um, so let me get something birthday-ish. Let's see what I have. I, there's the new birthday kits and stuff, but I haven't ordered them yet because I'm about to see what USPS decides to do with all my stickers first. Okay. This is cute. We have some cakes and some cupcakes. Oh, yeah. Can I get some? <gasps> yes. Here you go. <laughs> For mine. You can have the big <laughs> ones. Thanks. I'll just use some little ones. Because I already did put it on my weekly, Brayden. I put, um, here's my week. I already put that. So. Oh, okay. That's cute. Mm -hmm. On the day, I can just put the little cake. That'll be fine. Um, ooh. And look, and I can put a purple or pink planner. This is cute. These are really cute jumbo stickers that go with like any spread. So when you feel like you need like a little extra, you can slap that on and be extra like me. Um, what else, what else guys? They, oh, they just said school's canceled tomorrow, yay. Um, so my kids will only get one absence if I keep them home on Wednesday. You know, back when I was in school, like, perfect attendance was such a big thing. But, like, why? You're gonna get sick sometime, so you're telling me you want these kids coming up there spreading their germs and coughing on everybody? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> yes? No way. I never got perfect attendance, and I was rarely sick as a kid. Um, because my mom had cancer, and so unless you were, like, vomiting, you weren't sick. You were going to school. Um, what else do I got this little bow bunny with his little glasses on? You can go right there. And we've got George in a little purple hoodie. He can go up there too. Oh, hey guys, it's too cold up in here. Okay, I think these came out pretty good. Let's move on to the next. I don't know. I don't like George right there. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. I think I want him there. Hmm. Oh, this is looking not my fave. Oh, this is good. Okay, George can go right there. I think I just don't like that banner right there. Let me put the cloud like I did down there, because that's cute. Anyway, um, I'm hoping that I'm going to get lots of stickers next week, because even though I ordered things a long time ago, they never got here. So, let's do another spread. The only other full kit I have is uh, this Cupid Critters. Isn't that cute? Mm. Oh, Valentine. Oh, those are cute, yeah. And then I do have these, the sweater weather leftovers, but I already used a lot of the stuff. Like I don't have day covers. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do have these though. Those are so cute. Okay, let's let's use these and save the caffeinated ones for another time. Let me see. Oh, I also have cozy critters. Okay, okay. I have stuff to sustain me. But yeah, I, I gave a lot of it to my niece. So, um. Yeah. Ellie. Yeah, who's the other one? Aubrey. Uh, oh, to me it's my niece, but to you it's your cousin. <laughs> she gets confused because we don't really see all our family that often. I'm going to still use these date covers, guys, because it's a lot of heaven. Coffee goes with sweater weather, doesn't it? Just say yes. Mm -hmm. Look, it's cute enough. Let's see if we have some sweater weather headers. Or if I've used those up. Oh, I have some. Okay, okay. We can make it, guys. We can make it. Uh-huh. There we go. dreading my diet this time so that's exciting I don't even want to call it diet I just want to say I'm not dreading my healthy eating I think I'm, my body is like please it's like begging for me to do it it's like I need to eat some blueberries or something. yep I need to eat some blueberries or something <laughs> which I love blueberries what's your favorite fruit Brayden? um hmm, raspberries probably raspberries Emma what's your favorite fruit mango Mango. Daddy, what's your favorite fruit? Pineapple. Huh? Pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah. You guys, what's your favorite fruit? Tell me in the comments below. And don't hate on me. Don't be like, you're eating healthy. You're eating fruit. There's so much sugar. Guys, I was eating oatmeal cream pies every day in my bed. Okay? Calm down. Fruit is not going to hurt me. <laughs> it's better than processed sugar. Exactly. And that's only, and the sugar, like, in fruit is only bad if you have, like, a vegan diet. If you're just eating fruit and vegetables all day, and you're not actually eating protein or anything, you're not that good. Exactly, right, right, exactly. Vegan sucks. No, hey. No. I'm just kidding. That is not your business, girl. What is she saying? She doesn't care to be vegan, that's what she means. Where's this washi? I, I think this could be cute at the bottom. Let's do it. This is a Clever Clove Washi. A lot of y'all have asked me, like, on the cover of my planner where these uh, stickers come from. The company is Clever Clove. Um, but I don't want to go in, like, Facebook groups and promote that. You know, that's not polite. So, 
That's why usually in the Facebook group, I won't really answer those type of questions. So if you have those type of questions, just like send them to me on Instagram and I can let you know. And all my Instagram pictures are tagged with the brands as well. So you can always push the picture and see where I got stuff. Um, but Clover Clove is um, kind of going out of business. I mean, she says she's going to come back in a few years when her newborn is a couple years old, but who knows? So yeah, I'm buying all the Clover Clove stuff that I can right now. I love their washies and decals so much. I get them mainly at Little Craft Place, but I have bought from them directly before. But in February, they're going to have a big um, sale as they close their business. Okay, this is the 18th. So if you want to get something from them, I would wait till then. because It's probably going to be a pretty good sale. Um, also, I'm expecting two orders from Sweet Bean Plans with a lot of different kits, reading stickers, and so USPS needs to quit playing with my emotions. <laughs> this weather ain't gonna come soon. <laughs> I know, right? It's not gonna help. Uh oh. My 19 fell off my finger. Where did it go? Where did it land? I don't know. Mm, I don't know either. <laughs> I don't, I, blueberries is one of my favorite fruits, but I don't know if it's my absolute favorite. I think if I have to pick a number one favorite, I would say. <laughs> I don't like mangoes enough. Well. Yeah. Mangoes are alright. They're my favorite. I don't know. Yeah, I guess blueberries would be my favorite. Those are some that I can eat almost every day. Also grapefruit. I love grapefruit. Okay, so I have this large deco, which is helping me extend the kit. So we have... Actually, my favorite fruit of all time would probably be bananas, like when they're not too ripe. Like when they're like a little bit green and yellow, and they're like, they're perfect. I hate bananas, guys. My mom used to make me eat them almost every day, knowing that I didn't like it. It wasn't like, oh, okay, we'll just have a different fruit, you know, like a normal human. No, it was, you're going to sit here and eat it, <laughs> like literally. So, yeah, I will not eat that anymore. What? Trauma. <laughs> Banana trauma. Bananas. No, seriously. So for me, it ain't that serious. I'm just like, okay, well, you don't like one fruit? Like, eat another. Just put some fruit in your mouth. <laughs> you know? I'm, yeah. I don't know. My mom was a little bit different. There we go. Same with vegetables. Like Emma doesn't like a lot of cooked vegetables, so we'll let her have like fruit on the side sometimes, or we'll have salads instead. And it's okay if you just have your favorite. You don't have to like force it on anyone or on yourself. Um, let's see if we have some boxes. I have a few. Oh, here we go. This little computer is kind of a box. That's cute. For Thursday, because I'll be working. I don't really know about the order of that. Oh, oh no, I've really squished the checklist on there. Um, one thing I've noticed since using this B6, the paper doesn't rip as much as with any cheese, so... There's that. Yay. Let me put another header... coming out cute. So yeah, I also gave my niece my sweet kawaii planner and I kind of showed her some examples of how to set it up and she was really excited and she doesn't really show her excitement often so I was like yes, you know, Kelly's the winner. Hmm? 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 You guys to listen or you just miss out. Emma's making a craft. What are you making, Emma? Paper. You're making paper. <laughs> really? <laughs> She's a paper maker. She's making a paper craft. She likes this game. Um, what's it called, Emma? Yes. Um, French fries on Friday. What? Well, what was it? Yes. You guess. You guess. You guess. I guess. Five nights at Freddy's. Daddy has to work tonight? Yeah. I have to make a a drone. Okay. Well, um, hey, at least you're home safe and warm. <clears throat> the game is Five Nights at Freddy's. I knew that. Yeah, you said French fries. That was definitely this. Um, <laughs> but she makes these little paper, um, what do you call them, Emma? 
Paper plushie. Paper plushie of the characters that she likes. And they actually turn out really great. So. Do you mind if I borrow some um, Tombos? That's fine. You can borrow some Tombos. Go ahead. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay. I think I'm just going to use this box that looks like a... Not looks like. It is... Do you have my scissors? Oh, oh yeah. um, it's a tracker, but I'm going to cut it and just use it as a quarter box. Uh-huh. Here we go. Here we go. So, Brayden, what are you planning on putting on your Sweet Kawaii vision board that you're making? Um, I'm, I'm just writing some winter and Valentine's stickers and I'm like incorporating them together to make like a, a winter, um, I don't know. <laughs> a winter theme, basically. Yeah. It's like, it's just a hobby. I'm not really. Is it going to have goals on it or anything or just for fun? Yeah, maybe some like general goals okay. that everyone can like relate to. Like what? Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Be healthier? I don't know. Eat healthier, that's good. Yeah. So you guys, you know it's cold when I'm not sending these kids back to school to eat free food. And I'm willing to continue. Because, <laughs> yeah, kids eat a lot, which is okay. Kids get hungry. But I'm very glad that I just stocked up on a bunch of groceries because now I don't have to brave the grocery store where people are probably just like going crazy, buying up all the bread, milk, toilet paper. What do people think is going to happen to their butts when there's a, an issue? Like, my butt is the least of my problems at that point. It's like, I just need food. I can rinse my butt off with water, like, if what? I really have to. What? Why? I don't understand the, the TP run when there's, like, bad weather. <laughs> do you? Honey? Uh, Okay, let's use this for my gratitude box. I think we'll draw it up here. And then on this side, I love this little teacup. It reminds me of Beauty and the Bee. Um, let's use the sock. The sock kind of matches that little pillow. And I'll use that for my gratitude box. I think I'll do it in the middle, and then do the journaling lines around it. Mm -hmm. It's so quiet without the little space heater thing on. Mm -hmm. I just said ASMR. Mm, I love ASMR. Yeah, I do wish we had like a um, fireplace because I like the fireplace ASMR. The little crackling. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop, like my joints. Oh. <laughs> I like receptionist, librarian, and keyboard ASMR. Oh. Yeah. You, my daddy's busy. If you need something, tell me. What do you need, babe? Okay. She's daddy's girl, guys. She has to bug him every second. Brandon, how are your ears feeling after you got them pierced? Um, they don't hurt at all. They look great. Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that he would have to keep in these starter earrings for like a month, but they said two weeks, so I was like, okay. Oh, okay. And then I get to replace one of them with my Hello Kitty one. Yay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can um, give you some of my earrings, too. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, so that's fun. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I need like a brown-ish. This is 942. Oh, cute. Toko Doki. I love it. Mm -hmm. It looks great. When did you say your first um, winter guard? 
competition is? Um, Saturday, January 20th. That's going to be a big week for you, bud. The 23rd, we are going to oh, yeah. get his driver's license because he already took the written and road test. We just got to go pick it up mm -hmm. at the DMV. And then he'll have his first winter guard competition of the year. So, so super exciting, super a lot, but I think it'll be amazing. I think so too. So I'll go to that one. I don't go to all of them, but I, I attend quite a few of them. Oh my God, guys, I really don't like the show music. Like, I really don't like the music for our <laughs> show. I don't like it. It's so boring. They usually so do boring. some more interesting music, but there's this one uh, winter guard judge and he's this really stodgy old guy. <laughs> and yeah. I, you can see him literally jamming out to like more of the classical type music yeah. whenever <laughs> um, the competitions are going on. You can tell that, that he's scoring those groups higher because of that. So I think it's a, it's a strategic move on the part of his director to try to um, get their ranking up this year by doing some more like, you know, like classical band type music. Yeah, like sad music. Love it's like slow. Music. Oh, or is it Cam? Is it's it the Cam. Burning House? It's Burning House, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. My bad, my yeah. bad. Well, that's better than somebody whatever else. that like Medusa yeah. thing that somebody did last year. <laughs> I almost fell asleep and I think they won. What? So whatever. Um, but that's not too bad. It, also, they have a lot of new people in guard. Brayden is one of the ones that's been there for a while. So I understand if the music is slower, it's easier for them to keep up and not mess up. And give mm -hmm. give y'all a better chance of winning. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Um, I want the stickers that say gratitude. But yeah, I think hubby is still cranky about the cowboys. He woke up and he saw me up at night, and he's like, "What are you still doing up?" I was like, "Sorry, man." So I couldn't sleep, so I was reading, and then I was watching Natalia Speaks, which was like a true crime documentary. Why didn't you try to take a nap? Right now? No, like at night. Well, I took medicine, and it was making me stay awake, so I couldn't have taken that medicine. Um, let's do some dots. <laughs> Try to write a couple things I'm grateful for every day. Um, I think we're gonna keep planning, but I'm gonna end the video here because I don't have any more um, chit chat for you guys, and I don't want us to just be like <laughs> sitting here and be like, so. Um, let's put the one right there. Let me know in the comments below how the um, how you're faring the winter weather, and if it's just like, oh, I'm used to it, or if you're like, why? Um, I hope you're all safe and we will see you in our next one. Bye. Bye.